am I recording? Yes. Hi everybody. I thought I'd come along and show you how I did my uh, frame that I showed. I mind you, I've only sh oh no, I showed it on, on Facebook as well. And it's this one. Now, I can all the photo inside. It's a bit, little bit crooked. But yes, am I in shot? Yeah. Uh, little phone from Fernley Designs. Uh, this is a bull clip without the uh, metal bits on it. These are all uh, cardboard, you know, hardboard. Uh, yeah, cardboard. And I used, I think, about three on here. And I think about a three on this one. And another one on the top there. Um, the frame. The frame is mm, this one. I'll show you. The frame is the Sizzix one. I don't know, you can't see it, can you? Sort of. Excuse the glare. All you can see is my uh, iPad up there. There, that's the, that's the frame I used anyway. I used the Tim Holtz flowers, tattered flowers, bit of twine. Um, these are ball chain. Mm, I did mention the ball clip, the phone. Um, I cut these out, out of cardboard, the flower, so that they got, they're, they're, they're a bit thicker. Can you see that? Yeah, and one of the graphic 45 butterflies out of the one of the papers, um, what was it? Curiosity, Cur curiosity shop, that's the one. Uh, a little sort of, what do you call this? Not a fleur de lis, is it? It's a, what is it? I don't know. One of these snorkely bits, some leaves. And I put that on there, and that's the back of it. So I thought I'd come and show you how I made it. Now, so far, I've cut out um, these circles and I've cut them out and I've just dropped them. I've cut them out just with these. Now, obviously, they don't go through and I've cut out about three each. I think that one's four because it, it was thinner, the cardboard. But looking at it now, it looks a little, little higher, but it doesn't matter. Um, I cut them out of these and they are... Trailies, but I mean any of your nesting dice will do now. It won't cut all the way through through the cardboard. So what I did is I cut them out and then I got my crafting knife and you can see the indentation once it's it's cut out and I'll just slowly cut it out like that. That's the only way because I haven't got you know one of them thick ones that cuts through cardboard anyway. Put them together. Did the same out of the paper those dice, one for the back, one for the front and this one so they're getting stuck on, anyway I glued them all together these are getting stuck on here then I've got the frame and that's Tim Holtz this one, what's it called? Um, <coughs> excuse me, window window box that's all it's called it's a Sizzix Tim Holtz one so, uh, but you know, I mean, you can use any. For that one, I used, I think I just told you, haven't I? Used that frame. That Sizzix frame. I think I've showed, not shown them before when I did the other ones. But you can do you use your nesting dies, you know, your rectangle nesting dies if you've got any. Or cut them out by hand or, you know, draw them, measure it out and draw it with pencil. Anyway, that's that, that's that, and I can't make my mind up. That's the front, that's the back, whether to use this one. Am I in shot? Yes. Or this colour. I don't know yet, this paper. You know, see what goes with it. Anyway, this goes on here. Then I use these. This is going on top of here once it's glued, and I'm going to put the green. I think I'll put the green on top of it. like that and then this goes on top the little tube and this is this is not from toilet paper or kitchen roll because it's too thin this is from your silver foil 
because they're really they're really strong and hard so I just cut them in half and it was a bit of a pain to get them straight at the top but anyway once I've sorted this out I'm gonna put that on top I'm still in frame stick that on top of there then put my ball clip on and then you know put the frame on somehow I don't know yet no, I know how to put it on, but I don't know which one to use, that one or that paper. And I might choose a different paper altogether. So I've got to glue all these together, right? Gluing all these together. And then I'm going to distress them all. Like with, what's this called? I always forget what it's called. Uh, walnut, walnuts. Walnut something, <laughs> do you know? Walnut stain. Well, that was easy enough. And then I just mind shot, mind shot, mind shot. I haven't glued it on yet, the paper, but that's what I do, will do. And with these, what I do, these because they're white, but I like the thickness of the cardboard, is I'll go around the edge with the black pen. I know that's a bit of a pain and you certainly don't want to watch me do this but I thought I'd put the video on and show you a little bit of how I've done it. I mean this is Pinterest inspired. I saw these frames on Pinterest and that just made me own up. I mean these discs. Do you know I don't know whether Fernley does these sort of discs so you can you know get them at Fernley's if you want, Fernley Designs or any buddy who makes those discs. Anyway, I'm getting distracted here. That's what I do. And don't worry about obviously what it looks like on there as long as your edge is black. And then I'll stick, put this on. Right. I've always got a bit of a <laughs> finding which the one this is. Nah. Try that one, Marina. And then I distress that. And once you distress that, like that, see you can't see, you can't see the white bits anyway. There you can, you see, if I hold it like that. But if you do it around, and I do it where I've distressed it, you can't see it. And I think it looks nice anyway if it's a bit distressed. That's what I did with this. If I hold it close, you can you can see it, can't you? Is that too close? No. And I put a bit of gold, gold wax on the frame and that. And that's that. That's that. So I'm going to put all these together and then I'll be back. All right. Don't go anywhere. Okay, I'm back. I've just... Now you're not going to see this, what you know, these, because that one's going to have a um, full chain around it. And this is a bit, I've got a bit too much glue on it. don't like that. Sorry, didn't see that. Right, I just stuck that on there. Am I in shot? Yep. Do you think that's in the middle? Over a bit. And I use tacky glue. No, not tacky glue. Uh, Fabri tack. To put all these on. And that's what I used with this. And I'll tell you what, it's solid. Absolutely solid. And uh, I will distress this a bit. Even though you don't see much of it. And this one at the back here. Just a bit round there. <clears throat> so now, which one's better? That side. I don't think it matters much, does it? So, this doesn't take long either to... Oh, what I didn't tell you. To give it strength in the middle, I put those... Uh, doesn't matter if you've got to get a bit of glue on the side by the time you got your 
your uh, pole chain round there. Now I'm trying to get the, in the middle, Marina. Have a look in there. See? Hmm, that's not in the middle. That might be better. I have to get up. I'm not in your way, am I? There, I can see it now. And what I put in the middle are these, and I haven't even got them out yet, guys. Oh, oh God, I can't lift them. And I've put these in the middle. These bad boys. I've put them in there. Can you hear them a little bit? All I do is drop them in. To make it nope nope you're not going to fit on there again are you that's it that's enough that's it and I put those in there and then I've got to try and get the middle and get it on here just put a bit of distress on there I just don't want to make this video so long and I make it and I shall put it in shot. Mm -hmm. I'll tell you what guys, I don't know about you, but I don't do this heat well. It is like an oven in here, but I just missed my crafting, you know. On there. That's the only thing with this. It's so sticky. And now I've got to try and put that in the middle. Up in the middle. Got to get up again. Snap in the middle. I think that's in the middle. Turn it round. Oh, excuse my head. Yeah. Excuse my head. There we go, that'll do. That looks like it's more or less in the middle. Right, now we have to wait again. Okay, so I've done that so far. Did you get that so far? There you go. Right. And now... Guys, this is the million dollar question. Yeah, I will do this. Right, I'll just finish this frame and get a bit of ball chain out and get my ball clip ready. And uh, then I'll be back, okay? Okay, I'm back. This has had a chance to dry a bit. Not too much. But I've done my frame, look. I've distressed it. I've inked it, you know. Um, Put a bit of black mark around it so it doesn't. I've still a few bits here and there. Sorry, I was rushing a bit. There you go. And then I put some distress around it. Let's just do a bit there. Everywhere where there is a bit. Mine shut? Yeah. Right, got my ball clip out. So, and what I did was I put some, some of this black foam on the back so that I can slip a photo in. Here I put a bit of acetate on, on this one, hence the glare, but I won't do that now. I can always do that at a later date. And then I'll just stick them together like that. Is that going to work? Make sure you got the right bit up. There we go. Just put the glue on it. Oops. <laughs> All over my bits. There we go. This is alright, this tacky glue for this. There you go. And you can use any sort of colours. i tell you what I didn't get out. We've all chained it up. Put it on here. 
not far. It's not far away. Okay, you do there then. There you go. Whoops. Well, it would move, wouldn't it? There you go. Don't rush it, Marina. Don't rush it. There we go. And you just put your bow clip in. You stick it on there. And Bob's your uncle. And make sure it's the right way around that the slit is at the top. And it is. And this one I've put a, put a colour on it. Um, with a bit of paper. I'm not sure whether I want to. No, see I don't want it the same colour. What about the blue? Shall we do the blue? Oh, this one? No, that one doesn't, doesn't work together at all, Marina. The blue or the green? No, let's do the green. I've got some green somewhere here, she says. Let's do the green on the ball clip. And these, come, these just come out dead easy. You just squeeze them together and that's it. And pull it out. Did you see that? Just squeeze them together. I think well, you all know that anyway. That's right. I'm trying to teach you to suck eggs, isn't it? Right. And it is, goes under there. And I'll just make a little nick there. mess in here now. I'll put that in there. Is that straight? It don't feel straight unless it's just not going on there straight. I put it all the way around and then I put it there. Squeeze it in with my thumb. And normally I just... Oops. Told you. It's a mess. This is how I craft. This is how we all craft, isn't it, really? And then I'll just put that on there. There we go. Does that fit? That fits all right. Bit of distress on it. Distress ink. And now our glue. Let's use this one to make it. I'll tell you what, this is... This has oozed out a little bit too much, so guys, even though I'm going to put a little bit of ball chain around there, look, this ain't going to last forever and ever, is it? We all know that. I'm not going to sell it. This is just for me. And I love it. And I love making it. And I love showing you. Now, if you want to do one, I'd love to see it. There you go. And that's that. And all we've got to do now... Right way around, yes. Put our frame on there. Squeeze these out. Well, you can change the frame then if you want. Oh, this is oh, that's better. There we go. I tell you what, I, I was thinking and thinking, <gasps> how am I going to fix this? You know, to onto here. Well, there you go. That's the way to do it. Are we still with me? Yeah. Oh, I don't know how many minutes we've done. I tell you what, I've better done all this. Am I 